Today on the Cardinals Sports Network, your Lawrence Cardinals will be taking on the Heightstown Rams in girls' varsity basketball. And now, for the starting lineups, for the Heightstown Rams, junior, number 21, Angelina Benitez. Sophomore, number 14, Caitlin Nagel. Senior, number 13, Megan McDonough. Junior, number 51, Abby Miser. And senior, number four, Kayla Glazer Hyman. The Rams are head coached by Ms. Jenna Marcus and Mr. and assistant coach by Mr. Joe Nick. And now, for your very own Lawrence Cardinals. Freshman, number 21, Amber Wooding. Sophomore, number 12, Jaslyn Garcia. Sophomore, number 55, Emma Gopkin. Senior, number 2, Maya Coyle. And junior, number 3, Savita Ayer. Your Cardinals are head coach by Ms. Dina Williams, assisted by Mr. Antonio Stapleton and Ms. Ashley Pullen. We wish both teams the best of luck and have a great game. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. At center for the Cardinals is going to be Jaslyn Garcia for the jump ball. He's going up against Abby Meisler. Miser gets the tip, and it's the Rams with the ball. Rams put it over toward the far side of the court. Sizing up that Cardinal defense. And there's a drive into the corner. He's going to hand it off, and Rams are moving inside. Rams under the basket, can't get the shot off. Pass it outside. And that's no shot as the Rams are going to step out of bounds and turn the ball over to the Cardinals. Maya Coyle looking to inbound the ball for the Cardinals. Uh, pass it in. Now the Cardinals have moved across the center line and head over towards that Rams basket. Three-point shot is off the rim, rebounded by the Rams. The Rams with a quick drive up the court. And it's going to be a foul against the Cardinals. That's going to send Angelina Benitez to the line shooting for the Rams. Both teams scoreless up till now. Benitez with the first shot. In it goes and the first point goes on the board of the game. Benitez shooting a second time. She puts it up. And that one's off the rim. It's going to be tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Rams. It's going to be Cardinals ball. Coyle inbounds the ball. Now Wooding moving it up the court. Wooding's going to dump it over the far side of the court. And it's going to be a travel call against the Cardinals. That'll turn the ball back over to the Rams. Rams moving the ball up the near side, now angling in toward the basket. The shot is no good, rebounded by the Cardinals. Almost stolen back by the Rams, but Cardinals hang on to it. Cardinals fired over into the far corner. Back out. 
looking for someone to pass it to. And instead, Wooding takes the shot. That was rebounded by the Cardinals. Wooding's going to drive it up the lane where it's stolen by the Rams, and they'll take a breakaway. Layup is good, and Rams will make it a 3-0 game. Travel once more called on the Cardinals. The so Rams will get possession. Nagel looking for someone to pass it into. She'll fire it way back. Rams looking for the three, and in it goes. That quickly, it's a 6-0 game. And Cardinals decide it's time to have a little chat. They're going to call a timeout. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. So hopefully word from the coach can stem the tide and Cardinals can get back into this game. Cardinals still looking for their four, first basket of the game. Coyle inbounds the ball. Wooding sends it back to Coyle. Now, three-pointer from the far side. That was off the rim. It's going to go the distance all the way out of bounds at the other end of the court, but last touched by Rams. It'll be Cardinals ball. Cardinals put the ball into play. Cardinals will move it across. Another travel call against the Cardinals. That's three in quick succession here. Have to get that under control. Now Rams going to move it towards that basket one more time. Here's a pass under the basket. Two-pointer does not connect. Rebounded by the Rams. Now Rams for three, and in it goes. Rams lead 9-0 over the Cardinals. That inbound pass is knocked out of bounds by the Rams. It's going to be Cardinals ball. Coyle to Wooding, back to Coyle. Coyle over to Ayer. Ayer sends it into the corner and up for two. That's off the rim, rebounded by Rams. Rams on a quick drive toward the basket. No basket, but she'll draw the foul. That's going to send Kyla Hyman to the line shooting for the Rams. First attempt is good. Point. That takes them into double digits. Rams now leading 10 to zero. And Hyman will get a second shot. Up it goes, and in it goes, as Hyman goes two for two at the line. Cardinals inbound the ball. Wooding kind of trapped in the corner. She launches it across the court, but it's taken away by the Rams. Pass under the basket, and that's up for an easy two-pointer. 13-0, Rams lead. First time Dobkin is the receiving end of that one. The pass is picked off, and Rams Trying a couple times to get that two. They'll get fouled on the second try. That's going to send. No, I don't even see this one on the roster. Number 13 to the line shooting for the Rams. She'll put it up and put it in. She'll get a second try here. He puts the ball up, and that one's going to bounce off the rim, rebounded by the Rams, who put it in for another two. 
Going to make it a 16-0 lead for the Rams. Cardinals bringing the ball back toward the other end of the court. Ball on the far side. She'll send it over to Wooding. Wooding looking for a way in toward that basket. And she drives it in. Can't get the shot off. She'll pass it back out to Coyle. Back to Wooding. Wooding looking for the three. And she doesn't find it. That's going to be rebounded by the Rams. Also a foul called against the Cardinals. Now Rams put the ball into play. Taking their time this time. Now they'll fire it into the near corner. Into the center. Drive under the hoop, the shot is no good. Rebound is put in for two. Rams with a definite height advantage underneath the basket and it's hurting the Cardinals. Cardinals still looking for that first point of the game. Wooding for the three. That one's off the rim. Hall tries for the rebound, but it's going to be taken the length of the court and put in for two by the Rams. Cardinals once more going on offense. Looking to see if they can break the seal on his basket. There's the three point attempt, and in it goes. Uh, Wooding gets the first basket for the Cardinals to score three. And this time it's going to be the Rams calling a timeout. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Now the Cardinals have managed to break the seal on the basket. Let's see if they can do a little catching up here in this game. Rams will inbound the ball. Cardinals playing an aggressive defense, trying to keep them away from the basket. Once again, that height advantage comes into play as they'll sink another two-pointer. Now Wooding with the ball, working the way around, passes it to Hall, back over to Wooding. And that one gets away, it's gonna be grabbed up by the... Knightstown Rams put it in for another two. And to make things worse, problem with inbounding the ball, it's going to be turned right back over to the Rams. Rams inbound the ball. Taking their time setting it up. Here's a drive inside. Pass under the basket. And that shot is no good. Rebounded by the Cardinals. Going to be a foul called against the Rams. Cardinals inbound it. Coyle looking for the two. That was no good, but she's fouled. That was in Coyle to the line. Shooting two for the Cardinals. Coyle lining up her first shot. And she sinks it. Cardinals now with four on the board and Coyle will get a second attempt. Coyle puts it up and she'll go two for two at the line to give the Cardinals five points now. Substitution as Emma Dobkin comes into the game for the Cardinals. 
Coyle with another shot. She'll put that one up off the rim and the Rams will get the rebound. Rams looking for a way in toward the basket. Now they'll dump it over towards the far side of the court. Move it back up and now pass inside. That's stripped by the Cardinals. But the pass goes out of bounds. It's going to be turned right back over to the Rams. Rams inbound the ball. Here's a pass underneath the basket. Two pointers, no good, but rebounded by Rams. And this time that's good for two. Less than a minute left on the clock in this first quarter. Cardinals with the ball. They'll hang on to it a little bit, see if they can time things where they get a last shot before the buzzer. That one's put up by Hall off the rim. And now, attempt at the buzzer beater. It's going to be good for the Rams. They'll get the two points and draw the foul. It's going to send Benitez to the line, shooting one for the Rams. Still 21 seconds left on the clock. Benita is shooting one. She'll put that up off the rim. Rebounded by the Cardinals. All with the rebound. She'll fire it across the court to Coyle. Cardinals moving the ball around. Trying to set up a shot. Now Hall with the three-point attempt. That's off the rim. And there's the buzzer for the end of the first quarter. With a score, Cardinals five, Rams 29. Stay tuned for the second quarter. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Cardinals will be inbounding the ball for the start of the second period. Coyle fires it over to Hall. Back to Coyle. And back to Hall. Back to Coyle. And back to Hall. Now inside to Dobkin, back to Coyle, over to Hall. That one gets away, but she'll chase it down. And over to Ayer, back inside to Dobkin, who puts it up, looking for the two. That one does not connect. Bounces out of bounds. It will be the Rams ball. Rams bring the ball in. And they're taking their time now, moving towards the other end of the basketball court. Pass into the corner. Pass under the basket. They'll dump it back out and look for the three. That one's off the rim. It's going to be Cardinals ball. Cardinals bring the ball in. Coyle sends it across to Ayer. Ayer puts it up looking for the three. That one's going to hit the top of the backboard for out of bounds. Rams ball. Rams bring it into play. Turn, turn, turn. 
Now we're going to move it over to the near side of the court, pass under the basket, and up for two it goes. Cardinals put it back into play. Pass to Ayer. Long pass under the basket. Garcia just can't get the ball to fall her way, and it's going to be scooped up by the Rams. Good positioning there by Garcia. Now Rams put it up, and there's another two points on the board for them. Cardinals back on offense. Pass over to the far side of the court. Now working it around. Inside, Dobkin puts it up looking for the two, and she finds it. I believe that's the first basket of the second quarter for the Cardinals. That gives them seven points on the board. Rams taking their time setting this one up. Here's a pass under the basket, up for two, and in it goes. 33, I'm sorry, 35 points now for the Rams. Hall from the corner, can't get the distance. That ball's gonna be taken away by the Rams. That was awful close to being a jump ball there. Rams working the far side of the court. Back towards the top of the key. And over to the far side of the court, looking for the three-pointer. That one does not connect. Rebounded by Ayer. Ayer sends it across the coil. Coil back to Ayer. Ayer looking for the three. That was off the rim and rebounded by the Rams. Rams slowing things down a little. Pass over to the near side of the court, into the corner. Back out again. Now the far corner. Rams cross it. With a drive to the basket, they'll dump it out. And looking for the two, that one doesn't connect. Rebounded by the Rams. We'll put it back up for two. Cardinals back on the attack. A year to Coyle. Coyle looking for the three, and in it goes. Three-pointer for the Cardinals. They give the Cardinals 10 points as they move into double digits. And the Rams decide it's time to talk things over. So we'll take a quick break and be right back with the rest of this quarter. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Cardinals will be used this time to try and improve their game as well. But it's going to be the Rams inbounding the ball. There's the inbound pass. Rams work it over to the near side of the court. Back over toward the far side. And back to center as they continue to work that perimeter. Looking for a way to get closer to the basket. There's open player, can't get the shot off. Now, pass to the top of the key, back out to this side of the court. Back out again. Graham's still taking their time setting something up, not rushing into anything. That pass gets away, but quickly recovered by the Rams. Rams, cross court pass now inside. Two pointer does not fall. Loose ball is going to be recovered by the Rams. Rams will slow things down once more. Now here's a drive towards the basket, up for two. That one does not connect it. Rebounded by the Cardinals. Oh, 
Ball's going to be stolen away by the Rams, who will drive the court and lay it up for another two. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. It'll be Cardinals ball. Cardinals bring it in. Coyle over to Ayer. Inside to Dobkin, back over to Coyle. Now to Hall. And Dobkin's gonna put it up for two. That one does not connect. Rebounded by the Rams and taken back by the Cardinals. Good play there by Coyle to get a hold of that one. Over to Ayer, back to Coyle. Wow. That looked like it was going to be out of bounds, but fired back in by the Rams. Cardinals got a hold of it, couldn't hold on to it, and it's going to be turned over to the Rams. Nope, last touch by the Rams is going to be Cardinal ball. Ball in the corner, inside to Dobkin. Dobkin can't get the shot off. And now it's here on the far side. She'll pass it into the corner. It's moved inside and Dobkin with it. She'll send it back out to Hall. That one gets away, but Hall chases it down. Over to Coyle. Coyle sends it to Ayer. Ayer to Gigani. That pass is going to be picked off by the Rams, and the Rams go back on offense. Cardinals quickly fall back to set up their defense. Now Hall applying some pressure. Less than a minute left in this first half. Rams with the ball. Rams moving it around, trying to find a way into the basket. Rams killing a little bit of time here. Having the clock tick down now. Shot from under the basket. That one is rebounded by the Cardinals. Gunny with the rebound. Now Coyle's going to bring it back towards the other end of the court and see if she can get it. Last basket before the buzzer sounds. Cardinals moving the ball around. That one's going to get away. It's going to be recovered by the Rams. Now the Rams looking for that buzzer beater. Drive under the basket and backhanded layup under the basket does not connect. Rebounded by the Cardinals and there's the buzzer to end the first half. So after one half of play, it's your Lawrence Cardinals 10 and the Heightstown Rams 39. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Now for the start of the second half, it's going to be the Rams with the ball. Don't believe we mentioned this, but it's the first game of the season for your Cardinals. And they're getting off to a little bit of a rocky start. Plenty of room to grow. Rams moving the ball around. Trying to draw the Cardinals out of position. Pass underneath the basket. And the Rams are going to get called for a travel. We were seeing that early on with the Cardinals who have since cleaned up their act. And this time it's the Rams getting caught with that one. Coyle sends it over to Ayer. Ayer inside to Dobkin. That pass gets away, but it's going to be chased down by the Cardinals. Tipped out of bounds by the Rams, Cardinals ball. Ayer to Coyle. Coyle back to Ayer. Over to Hall, back to Ayer. Big long pass under the basket. 
stripped away, but recovered. Dobkin tried to get a shot off, but just too much coverage there, and it's going to be Rams ball. Rams working the perimeter. Moving over toward the middle of the court. Back toward the near side in the corner. And across to the far side of the court. Still trying to set up that perfect shot. There's a two point attempt, that one's off the rim. And Cardinals will get the ball after a loose ball there. Air fires it over to Coyle. Coyle to Hall, back to Coyle. Inside to Dobkin. Back out to Coyle, who sends it across. And Air puts it up, and that's off the rim. Rebounded by the Rams. And the Rams are gonna call a timeout. So we'll take a quick break and be right back with more of this game. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Rams will be inbounding the ball to resume play. Pass over to the far side of the court. Back out to center. And towards the near side of the court. Cardinals seem to have stepped up their defensive game a little bit. And it's hard to overcome that height difference. Nice effort there by the Rams to keep that one in bounds, but to no avail. Cardinals ball. Cardinals will bring it across the center line and go on offense. Long pass over to Garcia. She tries to put it up from underneath. That one doesn't go the right way, and it's turned over to the Rams. Rams looking for an inside pass, and put it up for two. Cardinals coming back the other direction with it. Pass to Ayer, over to Coyle, and to Garcia. It's gonna be taken away, and Rams headed the other direction. Rams pass to the far side of the court, back to center. Now drive up the middle and up for two. Cardinals coming back with it. Looking for the three. That was off the rim and rebounded by the Rams. That's going to be called against the Rams. It'll be Cardinal ball. Ayerian bounds it to Coyle. And the cards will go back on the offense. Here's a pass into the corner. That one's going to be taken away by the Rams. Rams pass it over to the near side of the court, looking for the three, and they'll find it. Coyle once more bringing the ball the other direction. She'll send it over to Ayer. Back to Coyle, to Gigani. Gigani puts it inside, but that one's going to get away, and it's going to be snatched up by the Rams. Rams 
pass it inside. And drive under the basket. That shot is a little wild, but rebounded by the Rams. Rams dump it back out. Into the corner, up for two, off the backboard. It's going to be fielded by the Cardinals. That was McMahon with the rebound. And Cardinals are going to call a timeout. Talk things over, so we'll be right back after a quick break. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Cardinals back on the court. It's going to be Ayer putting the ball into play for the Cardinals. Waiting for the go ahead from the referee. Ayer to Coyle. Coyle sends it across to Wooding. Wooding back to Ayer. And Jagani. Now no, it's going to be turned over to the Rams who make an easy two-point layup. Coyle once more bringing it toward the other basket. Over to Ayer. To McMahon. McMahon to Wooding. And Coyle puts it up looking for the three. Doesn't find it going to be rebounded by the Rams. Rams with a pass inside. Looking for a way toward the basket. They'll put it up. That one rolls the rim and it's going to be rebounded by the Rams. It's going to be a foul called, pushing foul against the Rams. It'll be a Cardinals ball. Cardinals put the ball into play, and Wooding brings it across the center line. Over to, you know, back and forth, Gigani with the ball. Put it over to Coyle. Coyle fires it across to Wooding. Wooding tries to dribble in toward the lane. Now Coyle with the shot, that bounces around and in it goes for two. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. First points of the second half for the Cardinals. Cardinals now have 12 points on the board, still chasing that 48 by the Rams. And the Rams will have possession of the ball. Rams put the ball into play. Quick whistle on that one. It's going to be a foul called against the Cardinals. Rams put the ball back into play. Pass inside, up for two, off the rim. Rebounded by the Rams who put it up unsuccessfully a second time. That was fired the other direction by the Cardinals, but it's going to bounce out of bounds, turning possession back over to the Rams. Rams inbound the ball. Drive in the lane, so back up and think better. That pass under the basket and up for a two-point jump shot. Another basket for the Rams. Cardinals coming down the direction. Ayer to Dobbin. Ayer tries to get the buzzer beater, but it bounces off the rim, and that will do it for the third quarter of this game with your Lawrence Cardinals trailing 12 to 50 behind the Heightstown Rams.
You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. The Cardinals will have the ball for the start of the fourth and final period of this game. Ayer puts the ball into Coyle. Coyle back to Ayer. Now over to Hall. Hall puts it up. That was going to be deflected. It's going to bounce out of bounds. Last touch by the uh, Heightstown Rams. It'll be Cardinals ball. Ayer passes to Coyle. Coyle backs up to reset. And send it over to Ayer, who puts it up, looking for the three. That one's off the rim. And rebounded by the Rams. Rams working it on the perimeter now. Send it over to the far side of the court and looking for the three. That one's off the rim, rebounded by the Rams. Rams back it up and reset. Now over to the far side of the court. Now to the near side of the court, looking for the three and they'll get it. Cardinal ball. Cardinals bring it across the mid-court line. And now it's Coyle in the far corner. She'll dump it back out to Hall, who sends it into it. Well, now it ends up over at Ayer. That's going to be stripped away. And it's going to be Rams ball. Nice to see the Cardinal cheerleaders here supporting their team. Rams inbound the ball. And we got a steal. Oh, great effort there by Coyle to get, try and get the steal, but she's going to... Well, actually, I think it was a foul called against the Rams, so it's going to be Cardinal ball. Coyle sends it into air. Back to Coyle. Coyle drives it over to the far side of the court. Thought about the three passes inside. And Emma Dobkin puts that one up. It does not connect and the rebound is by the Rams. Rams with a long pass right under the basket. And jump shot puts it in for two. That height really coming into play underneath the basket there for the Rams. Now Cardinals put it up looking for the three. That was off the rim, rebounded by the Rams. That ball's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by the Rams will be Cardinals ball. Good defensive pressure there by the Cardinals. Now Cardinals going back on the attack. Dobkin brings it in and puts it up looking for two. That one rolls in and out. Rebound Rams. Rams with a drive in towards the basket. Couldn't find the open shot, so I'll uh, drop it back, move it around, and now another drive in towards the basket. This time the layup goes in for another two points. Rams now lead 57 to 12. Cardinals moving the ball around. Dobkin looking for someone to pass to. She'll send it over to Coyle. Coyle back inside to Dobkin. She'll dump it out to Hall. Hall sends it over to the corner. And Coyle comes back out with it. Coyle sends it to Ayer. 
Ayer passes it into Hall. Hall tried to get a shot off there in between two taller girls and just couldn't get the clean shot. That's going to be rebounded by the Rams. Rams will pass in under the basket. That shot does not go in. Second attempt, she's going to draw the foul. It's going to send Caitlin Nagel to the line, shooting two for the Rams. Nagel's first shot. And that one bounces around and falls in through the net. Point for the Rams. She'll get another opportunity. Nagel puts it up. That one bounces out. The Rams get the rebound. I'll drop it back and reset. Now moving it over to the near side and the near corner. Pass under the basket. There was a whistle on that one. No basket, but that's going to send the Rams to the line shooting two more. Nope, I guess not. He's going to be inbounded by the Rams. Rams put the ball into play, looking for the three-pointer. That one's off the rim, rebounded by the Cardinals. Maybe that was out here with the rebound. Now Coyle sends it over to the near side, where Hall brings it back to the middle. Now she'll send it over to Arashan. And the Cardinals are going to call a timeout. So we'll take a quick break and be right back. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Arashan's going to inbound the ball to Coyle. Well, sends it over to Hall. Hall's going to dribble it across the court. Looking for someone to pass to. And that's going to be taken away by the Rams. Rams with a long pass. Now across the court, looking for the three. And they'll get it. Three more points for the Rams as they'll make that a 61 to 12 score. Cardinals inbound the ball. Hall will bring it across the center line. Send it over to Arashan. And back to Dobkin. Now Coyle with the ball. Couple quick passes. And Hall ends up with it. Over to Coyle. Coyle to Arashan. Back to Dobkin, and Dobkin's going to draw the foul. Got a couple substitutions there as we see McMahon and Gigani coming back into the game. Rashan inbounds the ball. Coyle will bring it across the center line. Well, puts it up looking for three. That's off the rim, and it's going to be rebounded by the Rams who go on a breakaway and lay it up for another two points. Cardinals now in possession. Coyle looking for a way through the defense. She'll hand it off to Wall. Hall comes across to the center of the court. That pass goes awry, and... First jump ball of the game is going to be called. There's been a couple other plays that were very close to being a jump ball, but always resolved before the referee blew a whistle. This time, possession arrow is going to give it to the Rams. Rams back on the offense. Looking for the three, that one's off the rim. And Dobkin with the rebound. He'll pass it over to Ayer. Ayer sends it into the corner, or it's taken away by the Rams. And 
Graham's trying to set something up. Here's a drive inside. She'll dump it back out, and a three-point shot goes off the rim. Rebounded by the Cardinals. Ayer with the rebound. Ayer puts it inside. Cardinals can't get a shot off. Send it back out to Ayer. Over to Hall. Hall sends it to Coyle. I'm sorry, that was here. Here, put it up for three, didn't go in. Rebounded by the Cardinals. Second attempt doesn't go in, and it's rebounded by the Rams. Rams setting up for another attempt at a basket. Almost a steal there by Gigani. She tried to get a hold of that one. And there's the buzzer for the end of the game. So after four quarters of play, it's your Lawrence Cardinals 12, the Heightstown Rams 63. Special thanks to Piper Howell for operating camera today. And thank you all for tuning in to watch. Be sure to tune in again next time for more exciting Cardinal sports action here on LTPS-TV.